AI. I'm sure you've heard of it by now. It's buzzing all over the internet. It's scaring people, it's exciting people, it's, it's, it's everywhere. And you have reason to pay attention to it. And I think that um, as photographers or as creatives, it is a topic that we need to talk about. I've been wanting to make this video for a very, very long time, but I decided to wait just a little bit so I can experiment more with AI, study it and do some personal research on it. And I think that I am in a good position right now to talk about it to my understanding as of now. Now, there is something that I've always said. I've always said that photography is a technology based industry. Now, in the moment or the day that you fail to keep up with technology, that's the day that your business dies. And I can still say that message right now or that statement today because AI is coming and it's coming big and it can get very, very scary to the point where people are saying that it's going to take over the creative industry, it's going to take over artists, it's going to take over writing, it's going to take over so many jobs. That's true. From Mid Journey to Dal E to recent, just recently, Chat GTP. If you've tried it, you'd know how crazy that is. There's even one that I've used personally, which is called Copy AI. What it does is that it allows you to put your your content, like describe the picture or the video or the YouTube, um, whatever that you're about to post, and then it will be able to generate hashtags. It will be able to generate um, captions and um, sometimes even give you a way that you can manage or put out your video out there that you would, you would never be able to think of that almost instantly and it does it in some few seconds and i think that if we think about it this way writers will start to doubt but for some creatives if you think the way that i am thinking you realize that this is an opportunity what do i mean by this after several days of experimenting with it um, trying it out and playing along with what this whole AI is about, I've come to realize that we shouldn't be afraid of it. We should rather embrace it. And you can, you can take this statement not just from the perspective of uh, creativity. You can take it in any form, from a lawyer to a writer to a storyteller to a scriptwriter, whatever. Take it and understand that AI can be used to our benefit rather than it taking over our jobs. So for example, let's say that you wanted to write a contract for your company. You just set up a new company. You want to write a contract. You open up Chat GTP and then you just ask it, write a contract for so, so, and so, and so, and so. It will do it in 10 minutes. 10 minutes? No, sorry. It will do it in 10 seconds. Just 10 seconds. That's how quick it does it. As opposed to you sitting down, trying to write down all that you need, going on the internet, looking for sample, um, contracts and so it, it will take you time but with all these AI bots that are coming up it makes life so easy let me give you an example of what I did so when I started photography there was one thing that I used to do I used to write down my idea and then describe it so clearly I still have the book behind me over there that contains some of the ideas that I had to shoot and it was fun so I'll describe it and then on the day that we do the shoot I come back to the PC load it up I see it and I'm excited that yes, this is exactly the image that I had in mind. Now with AI, what does that do? I jump on mid journey. I put in my idea that um, I have an idea of a picture with this background and that and that and that and that. And then the AI will be able to generate some ideas for me. And one of them might be close to what I have in my mind. With this, it makes my work much more easier. It gives me a visual representation of what I want. And then I can translate this and show it to the model or to whichever client that I'm trying to work with and say, hey, look, this is what we're going for. Ah, I get it. Sometimes when you say with words, they don't really get you. I'm sure you've experienced that from time to time. But with AI, especially the image generated ones, you as a creative, you as a photographer or a videographer, you can take this and then generate your ideas. Sometimes you watch movies and you see that they draw these storyboards They have drawings and paintings of the ideas, the animation of what they want to shoot. AI can make that much quicker for you. And don't stop there. Once you get the AI, you can take that and modify on top because sometimes the AI doesn't quite get you exactly what you want. One of the things that I've noticed with the AI is that 
the better your words, the better you are able to describe and give it the right information, the closer it gets to the idea that you want. And for starters, everyone can jump on AI saying, hey, I really want to do this. But you would notice that at some point you'll be like, okay, is that it? And then you are stuck. It would only take a few dedicated people to go a step further and use it and add it to their daily routine. I may be talking too much and you may be thinking that, oh, you know, you are just saying it. So let me give you an example. So when Mid Journey came, I was experimenting with it and I typed in um, an African um, beauty model. This is just what I typed, African beauty model. That's just what I did. And then it generated some images that caught my eye, like this one and this one. They were very interesting. I wasn't really concerned about how clear or how good it was. I just liked the concept and I took that concept and then turned it into this. Now, you can see from the get-go that there's already an idea that um, is pretty straightforward. As photographers, sometimes we're browsing through the internet, we see a certain picture, we see a certain outfit and we get inspired by that and we say, hey, you know what? I like what you're wearing. Come, let's shoot. Or, oh, I saw this shoot. Let me call up this model or let me call up this friend. Let's go and take this picture. It's the same concept, but now we have AI that allows us to express our ideas onto it. So if we stop and shy away from AI, saying that this is going to take over our business and therefore photography is dead or art is dead and so on and so forth, that might not be the best approach, to be honest with you. But I think that if we take it and we add it into our chain of work, that, that is the steps you take to get to your final product, the pre-production, the planning and all that stuff, it would help you and it would make your work much more quicker. So if you've taken a shot, you want to upload on Instagram, on Facebook or on TikTok, and you're wondering what caption should I use? And you're always like cracking your brains and you're like, I don't know what to put. Just jump onto this AI, put in your description of the picture or what you want to you know, put out there and then ask the AI to generate about say 10 possible captions for you and with hashtags. And it would easily, easily do that for you. You can just pick the one that you like, you know, and add it. And within some few seconds, you're posting your picture without having to hassle so much. So my advice is that let's not be afraid of the AI that is coming. Especially those of us here in Ghana, it can seem so overwhelming sometimes. But if we embrace it, if we add it to our arsenal and the way that we do our work, it will be easier. And to expand just slightly on this whole creative industry, let's take it into the educational uh, background. And you can still bring it back to the creative and say that AI is no longer going to make our educational system the answer based. It's going to make it a question based because you already have the answer. So your ability to ask the right questions. So the question is that, are you asking yourself the right questions to generate the right images that you want? Yes, some of the industries or some of the categories of photography or creatives that we do might not need that much of our input. Things like um, stock images, that is true. But if you are in other departments such as, I'm using the word department intentionally, if you're in other departments such as event or weddings and stuff like that, you're good. If you take portraits of people, people would still need that direct human contact. And that is important. If you add that to your image and you can use that to help you get your ideas more concrete to your client, I believe that that would make your work much more easier. These days as photographers, social media is part of the things that we do. If you didn't embrace social media, I'm sure by now you have your different set of people that you work with, your different clientele, and that is good. But if you did and you are, your business is based on social media, you can still use AI to be able to help you post or get more content in terms of the text format much more easier. So, fellow brothers and sisters, embrace AI. Do not be afraid. It can make your work much more easier. This is my take as of this time that I'm making this video. I will continue to use AI as part of the work that I do. I have some few more images that are coming up that I need to shoot that are inspired. I wouldn't say inspired, but that I have AI assisted me in generating the ideas that I want to do. And I'll be sharing some of the videos on my Instagram and on my YouTube as well. I've already showed you some in this video and I hope that you do enjoy it. So until next time, I'm Livingston and we'll meet again. Bye-bye.